Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. This Superman is 100 million points strong. Chapter 61. After cleaning up the battlefield, Lin Feng and Natasha Romanoff once again took the Quinjet and left. It was less than an hour from the time they flew to Mexico until they flew away after making a big fuss. Although Shield's work efficiency is indeed very high, most of it is due to Lin Feng's abnormal ability and attributes. Like a humanoid Tyrannosaurus, it almost pushed across the entire base. This completely opened the eyes of the average S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. Even though he is usually arrogant, he still has to bow his head and act like a grandson in front of Superman. Definitely, except for Natasha Romanoff. You're not hurt, are you? Lin Feng asked with concern on his face while sitting next to Natasha Romanoff. You're fine, but you scared me to death. Natasha Romanoff patted her white plump lips and complained. It was very dangerous just now. What if you were hit by a stray bullet just now? I'd rather it was me who was hurt just now than you being hurt at all. Lin Feng continued to play the role of a warm man and spoke affectionately. I, Natasha Romanoff's pretty face turned red visibly. Although I knew what I was telling was a lie, I was still a little happy inside. The relationship between the two has quietly grown closer. You owe me a real date, Natasha Romanoff. Lin Feng approached Natasha Romanoff's ear and whispered. He also knew that the failure of this operation would make the black braised egg furious. His men would definitely work overtime, and it would be difficult to see Natasha Romanoff again in a short time. So we set up a real date with her. Well, I understand. Natasha Romanoff's voice is tinny. This was the first time that a strong man cared about her. See you next time then. Lin Feng stood up, opened the cabin door directly under the shocked expression of Mediterranean Sea, and stepped out gracefully. Shua. A tearing air sound sounded, and Lin Feng's figure turned into a black afterimage, disappearing at a speed several times faster than Quinjet. Oh my god. This is just. Phil Coulson once again scratched out a few of his few hairs. He was so good-tempered that he almost drove him crazy. This guy doesn't play by the normal rules at all. Okay, Lin is that kind of person, you can't control him. Natasha Romanoff looked at the little black dot disappearing in the distance, pushed her long burgundy hair to her head, and said with admiration. Yes, you can't control him. Doesn't mean I can't do it either. Comfortable. This is what flight feels like. Lin Feng is flying freely in the air. I just took a Quinjet and my butt was stiff. I had to fly in the air for more than an hour. And at my current speed, I'll probably be home in less than 10 minutes. Forget it, Natasha Romanoff should take things slowly. Let me test the effect of the latest Superman furnace. He did not forget the new heart after integration. A lot of nonsense was interrupted before, but now that the King of Heaven is here, I can't stop him from going to heaven. Shua. Lin Feng accelerated his speed again and took off at a speed of more than 10 Mach. Soon, he flew away from the earth again. When facing the sun, he immediately put on the Superman battle suit and began to activate the cells in his body to start energy absorbing. Buzz. Sure enough, after integrating Superman's furnace heart, the efficiency of Lin Feng energy absorbing increased more than 10 times. The energy released by the sun constantly flows into your body, as if you are bathing in a comfortable hot spring. Every muscle is filled with terrifying energy, and under the influence of Superman's furnace, it can hold even more energy. Lin Feng's physical fitness is improving at an accelerated pace. It's so comfortable. It's truly a Superman melting pot. Lin Feng couldn't help but sigh closing his eyes and absorbing it immersely. Earth, New York City, Stark Building. Sir, Mr. Lin Feng has flown into space again. And J.A.R.V.I.S. still informed Tony of the information. I know, isn't it just to go to space and bask in the sun? Tony said impatiently while studying his new armor. Now he was not at all shocked and speechless like the first time, but was used to such unbelievable things. As long as Lin Feng does something, it is completely normal. But sir, Mr. Lin Feng's data seems to have been updated. The speed is faster than before, reaching Mach 20. Walter, a private estate south of Washington. There was a sound of metal friction, and the passage to the underground opened. This is a secret base of Hydra. There was a sound of rapid footsteps. A group of men in neat suits and extremely strong bodies hurried over. 
They were protecting a middle-aged man with a majestic look in the middle. This person is none other than the Minister of the World Security Council and one of the high-level agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Alexander Pierce. And in front of him, cuffed by chains, was Bucky who had escaped from Lin Feng's hands. Soldier, tell me your mission this time, Alexander asked seriously. Yes, sir, Bucky replied expressionlessly. I was ordered to go to Guzman to collect last month's weapons funds, but I was attacked in his estate. A flying oriental man with extremely powerful strength and defense. He knocked me down in one encounter. He didn't pay attention to me because he was looking for Guzman. I pretended to be stunned and ran away. Bucky answered very mechanically. But before he left, he spoke to a suspected S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. It's that Superman Lin Feng. He's all on the news now. A bald man next to him explained in Alexander's ear. Um, he stated that he knew Lin Feng's information. Not bad, I can save my life under Superman. Alexander pretended to praise, then turned to the bald man. I received news that last night S.H.I.E.L.D. sent special forces to the southern island of Mexico to encircle Guzman's estate. When the large troops arrived there, all the drugs and arms were destroyed, and they were just there to clean up the battlefield. It actually took less than an hour. This is enough to show how powerful this Superman is. He can single-handedly overthrow the military power of a major drug lord. But this operation did not leave any records within S.H.I.E.L.D. Nick Fury always thinks he can be in charge of everything, but he doesn't know that many of his special forces are my people. After our investigation, we found that several of Guzman's accounts in Europe have successively made large-scale fund transfers. Haha, ha, it seems that Nick Fury's so-called Avengers plan has begun to be implemented. The bald man asked, what should we do next? Our super soldiers are no match for us, and that Superman does seem to be quite capable. No need at all. Alexander smiled confidently. Nick Fury, this idiot, exposed his largest special forces unit in order to earn such pitiful funds. The exposed special forces pose no threat to us. The focus now is still on the Insight Project. Zola's algorithm must be perfected, and the plan must be on schedule as soon as possible. Yes, the bald man answered very humbly. Alexander stood up, patted his shoulder, and continued. Also, don't be stingy with small money. Brother Mosi continues to support a new batch of drug lords. There must be a target for those idiots to continue to relax their vigilance. Shield headquarters. Nick Fury's brows furrowed into a frown. On his desktop are piles of files. All reports on this secret operation are recorded above. Not to mention Lin Feng's perverted destructive power, too many things were exposed this time. According to reports by Phil Coulson and Natasha Romanoff, the operation to destroy the drug lord brought out the very large terrorist forces behind it. The Winter Soldier, this terrifying killing machine appears again. In the past few decades, he has carried out kidnappings and assassinations of important politicians or high-level military generals in many countries. But there was no way he could be caught or tracked by the terrorist organization behind him. You know, an organization that can cultivate Superman like the Winter Soldier will definitely be enough to threaten the peace of the world. This made Nick Fury very uneasy. Moreover, Lin Feng's previous words also made him very vigilant. Does that mean there are people from Hydra around me? He felt secretly frightened. If that's the case, it's going to be very troublesome. For a paranoid man like Nick Fury, the best outcome is to have complete control over all situations. In the past few years alone, he had investigated more than a dozen scientists who had been kidnapped by the Winter Soldier. And there are many Nobel Prize winning experts. These people are top talents in various fields. If that terrorist organization produces weapons that threaten the whole world, the consequences will be disastrous. Even if the Winter Soldier appeared again this time, he wanted to try to follow the clues, but he didn't find anything. Instead, it made him doubt the people around him. Especially that eastern boy who doesn't play by the rules, why did he fly to outer space again in a short time? Especially that eastern boy who doesn't play by the rules, why did he fly to outer space again in a short time? Can he stop for a while? I really have no idea what that person's brain is thinking. There are also two people, Banner and Betty, who went to Tony's place and got fed some kind of ecstasy soup, so they just didn't come back. Lin Feng contributed to everything behind this. What does that kid want to do? 
Want to form your own Superman organization? Nick Fury became angrier as he thought about it, and couldn't help but curse secretly. Buzz. And at the moment Nick Fury's phone vibrated on his desk. Phil Coulson, what's wrong? I was hoping you had good news for me. Nick Fury rubbed his eyebrows and sighed. Boss, you know, our operation this time is confidential. Um, in other words, no one should know about this operation except our people. Phil Coulson asked carefully again. This made Nick Fury's heart beat again, and he always felt a bad premonition. If you fart quickly, Phil Coulson agent, Nick Fury growled. Okay, boss, actually, when I was sorting out the documents, I found that Guzman has connections with two other drug lords. I suspect that he is their superior and downline, and I am preparing to sort out the information. But when I went to the tea room to get a drink of water, my documents suddenly disappeared, including Guzman's copy. Nick Fury pushed all the piles of documents on the table to the ground. Phil Coulson heard a loud noise from the other side and couldn't help but move the receiver further away from his ears. He knew that his boss was going crazy now and did not dare to say another word. After a while, Nick Fury's voice came from the other side. Can't you find technical means? No, it seems that Guzman does not exist in the database. Well, Nick Fury sighed. Contact the local anti-narcotics police. They must have undercover agents on and off Guzman's staff to inquire for information. After Phil Coulson left, Nick Fury narrowed his eyes slightly and thought of what Lin Fung had said to him before. Is it true that there are people from Hydra among my people? And while Hei Lu Dan was extremely busy, Lin Fung was lying comfortably in outer space in a big character sleeping position, receiving the radiation from the sun. Because Superman's furnace was integrated, his energy absorbing efficiency was greatly improved. A few hours later, Lin Feng woke up feeling extremely energetic physically and mentally. He immediately summoned the system to check his level of evolution. Man of Steel has evolved to 18%. That's okay. It seems like he'll have to get more sunshine in the future. Lin Feng nodded. The pace of evolution was faster than he imagined. I only get 8 hours of sunshine every day, which is just enough time to make up for my sleep in space. But we can't stay in outer space from morning to night, as that would be very boring. It's time to find Mei. When he thought of his girlfriend, whom he had just confirmed a relationship with recently, Lin Feng became very excited and immediately flew back to Earth. Shua. A meteor streaked across the sky. In less than a minute, Lin Feng flew back to Queens, New York. Definitely, he had already prepared flowers and some gifts for May in the system space. Beep. After combing her hair into an adult look, Lin Feng pressed May's doorbell. Coming. A clear female voice sounded, and the door opened immediately. Oh, honey, I miss you so much. As soon as she saw Lin Feng standing in front of her whom she had longed for, May's eyes immediately lit up and she quickly gave him a firm hug. For this kind of behavior of hitting someone with the ball, Lin Feng would only secretly praise it and felt that he could do it more times. Hey, I miss you so much. This is for you. Lin Feng smiled, and then took out another bouquet of roses from the system space. Oh my god, what a beautiful rose. Are you a magician? Where did you conjure it? All women love beauty, and their eyes will light up when they encounter beautiful roses. This is true for Black Widow, and definitely Plum is no exception. May happily hugged a bouquet of flowers and said excitedly with a blushing face. It's a secret. Lin Feng pretended to be mysterious. What? No expression. Definitely. After breaking through that barrier, May became bolder and stood on tiptoe to give Lin Feng a sweet kiss. Mwah. Not enough. Wait. Don't worry. Little Peter went to his classmate's house to spend the night today. We still have a lot of time tonight. May quickly stopped him. I'll listen to you. Lin Feng said with a smile. Anyway, the meat that has been eaten in the mouth will not escape. It is good to enjoy a peaceful life now. Have you eaten? Let me go and help you make something. Mei broke free and said with a slightly red face. Just do whatever you want. Lin Feng touched his stomach and felt that he was indeed a little hungry. Although I had been basking in the sun for a long time and had more energy than ever before, I still felt hungry. Rather, Lin Feng still likes to taste delicious food. Well, you can watch TV first. I'll make it soon. Mei neatly tied her hair into a ponytail, 
put on her apron, and entered the kitchen to start cooking. Lin Feng was also watching TV boredly. The current plot has just passed the timeline of Iron Man 2, but since the passage of time here is somewhat different from that in the movie, I don't know when the story of the next movie will start. But this kind of life is pretty good now. Enjoy your peaceful life now, otherwise Purple Sweet Potato will come looking for trouble. Especially after I got a girlfriend named Mei, my life became much more fulfilling. It must be said that Mei has a good figure, is beautiful, and has a kind nature. She can work in the hall and in the kitchen, and is a good wife and mother. I really got a big deal. Dinner time. It didn't take long for the aroma of the food to drift into the living room. May brought plates of delicious dishes to the table. Fish-flavored eggplant, steamed catfish, scrambled eggs with tomatoes, kung pao chicken, stir-fried beef with cucumber, curry chicken steak. Lin Feng was shocked. Together with May, it was like making a Manchu Han banquet. Oh my god, you are so awesome. He had to admire May's cooking skills. Try my craftsmanship. Does it suit your taste? May helped Lin Feng fill the rice with a smile and then used her chopsticks to pick up a piece of fish-flavored eggplant for him. May looked at him with a hint of nervousness, excitement, and anticipation. God knows how long she had been waiting for this day. From the day she met Lin Feng, she studied recipes diligently every day and tried to cook oriental dishes, just so that one day Lin Feng could eat the food she cooked by herself. Oh, it's delicious. It's so delicious. This tastes so fragrant. Lin Feng was so excited that he almost shed tears. This feels like home. Eat slowly, there's still some left in there. Mei was also happy to help Lin Feng continue to pick up vegetables. The two had a great time and enjoyed a warm dinner. After dinner, as a good man, Lin Feng must take the initiative to clean up and help wash the dishes. Even though Mei declined, Lin Feng was firm in his approach. In desperation, Mei had no choice but to agree but she felt sweet in her heart. Such a strong and handsome man could be so considerate and caring for himself. I probably saved the earth in my previous life. As the saying goes, when you are full and warm, you think about it. 10,000 words are omitted in the process. Afterwards, the two also spent an extremely fulfilling day. The next day, May still got up with a sore back. Looking at the breakfast and messages prepared in front of the living room, she smiled knowingly. The note read, I have a task today and I will solve it as soon as possible. Don't think about it. And May also felt Lin Feng's care and love for her. My dear, you are so considerate, but you are a bit too strong. Thinking of the madness before, May's face turned as red as an apple again. It seems Superman's physique is well deserved. If this continues, I won't be able to bear it. I'll talk to him next time. It's better to find a suitable girl to help share the burden. May distressed happily. Lin Feng, on the other hand, continued to fly in the air feeling refreshed. I have to say, eating meat feels very satisfying. But May's physical fitness is still a bit poor, and she will have to replenish her health next time. It seems that Natasha Romanoff's progress will also be accelerated. I just want to give all the girls a happy ending. One morning, Lin Feng received another message from Natasha Romanoff. The news was that a hammer had been dropped somewhere in a deserted suburb of New Mexico. The hammer was so heavy that no one, not even a crane, could lift it. Regarding this unreasonable incident, the nosy black braised egg took action again. Upon learning that Lin Feng had returned from outer space, he immediately sent Natasha Romanoff to call. Black braised Dan also knew what he said, but Lin Feng would not listen at all. Oh, it seems that Thor's plot has begun. Odin's stupid boy finally came to earth. Lin Feng secretly said happily. After receiving the news from Natasha Romanoff, Lin Feng pretended to be troubled and deliberately asked Natasha Romanoff to sell another favor. In the end, he pretended to be very unhappy and went out. He actually wanted to see if he could lift Mjolnir. Just because others can't do it, doesn't mean he can't. What Odin's spell, what heart of justice. Didn't Hela also catch it with one hand? In the face of absolute power, all magic is vain. Aha. Uh -huh. Soon, Lin Feng found the scene where Mjolnir fell. As for why it was so easy to find where the hammer fell. A group of people are building a base and assembling large-scale test machines. They are busy with various tasks, as if they are afraid that others will not know that something is going on here. 
Hey, my dear Natasha Romanoff, did you miss me? After Lin Feng landed, he saw Natasha Romanoff at first sight and gave her a strong hug. Lin, we just met yesterday. Black Widow was speechless, but she hugged her back. Hee hee, as the saying goes, a day without seeing you is like three autumns, but you are still so beautiful. Lin Feng continued to talk. Remember you still owe me two real dates. I know. Natasha Romanoff smiled charmingly. Come on, I really need your help this time. She walked into the temporary base with Lin Feng. Hey, Phil Coulson, stop scratching your head. If you scratch your head again, you will probably have as much hair as our director. Seeing the frowning Nick Fury and Phil Coulson, Lin Feng couldn't help but joke. Lin Feng, you are finally here. The black braised egg stared hard at Lin Feng with his one eye. What's wrong? Are you sending me money again? Lin Feng said with disdain. By the way, how much is yesterday's mission, plus the funds I found? Have you transferred it? It's transferred, the money will be yours. Nick Fury rolled his eyes at him. Oh, really? Let me see. Lin Feng deliberately took out his mobile phone and found that the balance in the bank had indeed increased by 200 million United States dollars, and he suddenly smiled. What's the reward this time? He asked cheekily. Complete your mission first and then talk. Nick Fury said angrily. Tell him exactly what's going on. Black Braised Egg ordered to Phil Coulson, and then left with a look of displeasure. I really feel that if I stay with Lin Feng for a while longer, I will be driven crazy. In fact, we couldn't move the hammer even a centimeter with all the conventional force we used, including the Quinjet. And after our testing, the elements contained in this hammer do not belong to any known element on Earth. Phil Coulson still had a fake smile on his face and continued to explain. Definitely, except for using unconventional power, such as your Superman power, it is possible to lift the hammer. Maybe as Superman, you can sense something. Hey, Phil Coulson, do you want to bet? The real owner of this hammer will be here in a minute. Lin Feng thought of something and said with a smile. Huh, what do you mean? Not only Phil Coulson, but Natasha Romanoff next to her also asked with a puzzled look. Obviously, this hammer fell from outside the earth. There is no doubt about it, right? Um, shield. They have dealt with aliens a long time ago, such as the Skrulls, Kree, etc. Although they are kept secret from ordinary agents, the relevant databases will still be open to high-level agents such as Phil Coulson and Natasha Romanoff. It is also because of the alien technology that S.H.I.E.L.D. has developed so fast. The United States authorities and Howard Stark also provided a lot of contributions. If that's the case, then this hammer must have an owner. Does this count as theft? Lin Feng raised the corner of his mouth and asked Phil Coulson with disdain. However, this is what we discovered. If the hammer hits the city, it will cause a catastrophe. After all, our shield is here to prevent this risk. Phil Coulson is indeed a veteran. Even if he is ridiculed and scolded, he still speaks some official words calmly and calmly. Since I call myself Superman, there must be something you don't know. Lin Feng once again acted mysteriously. I watched the astronomy at night yesterday, and the sky told me what will happen today. A blonde man nearly two meters tall will come to Earth and come here to look for his lost hammer. And he claims to be a prince from Asgard, and his father is Odin, the lord of the Nine Realms. Lin Feng briefly told Thor's origin. Ah, Lin, I think you need to see a doctor. Phil Coulson suppressed a laugh. What Mjolnir? I think this kind of story is appropriate in a novel. You want to bet me that the prince from Asgard is going to come and get his hammer? Yes. What are you betting on? That's definitely activity funds. How about 100 million? Make a deal. Phil Coulson confidently agreed. He has been a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. for so many years, what has he not seen before? Including meeting Captain Marvel and the Skrulls with Nick Fury before. How can there be gods in this world? And what Thor, Heavenly Father? That is obviously a Nordic myth and legend. Isn't this the money that was given to me in vain? Buzz buzz. Before he finished speaking, he heard the sound of sirens in the distance. Phil Coulson's heart sank, feeling that something was wrong, and he quickly used the intercom to ask. What happened? Report. Sir. Someone broke in. The security guard on the other side of the intercom said with a horrified look on his face. Who is it? Won't you stop him? Phil Coulson seems to be losing a few more hairs. 
He is a blonde man with a strong physique and so much strength that we can't even hold him back. Gulu. Phil Coulson feels that this bet is probably unwinnable. Everyone retreat, leave this man alone and let him in. Although he was very unconvinced, Phil Coulson still let the blonde man in because business was more important. Haha, ha, the rightful owner is here, let's go take a look too. Lin Feng said to Natasha Romanoff with a smile. The three of them walked out of the camp together and headed straight to the place where the hammer fell. At the moment, a ragged, slovenly blonde man was staring at the hammer in front of him in deep thought. And he is none other than Thor Thor. At the moment, he didn't notice the three people behind him, but stared at the hammer with fascination and murmured. Thanks Asgard, I finally found you. Now, I can finally regain my strength. Thor was about to step forward and take away his hammer. Sorry, sir, no one is allowed to enter here. This meow hammer does not belong to anyone. At the moment Lin Feng interrupted him and stood in front of him. Meow hammer. Thor was stunned for a moment, and then shouted angrily at Lin Feng. This is not Mew Hammer. This is Mjolnir. My own hammer. Do you understand? I am the Thunder God of Asgard. I am the son of the father of God Odin. Thor came to defend his dignity as a god. Okay, don't you just want to get your Meow Hammer? No one is stopping you, so go ahead. Lin Feng smiled evilly and gave up his position. This. The Black Widow and Phil Coulson next to them were shocked, because what he said was roughly the same as what Lin Feng said just now. Could this crazy man really be a god? HMPH. You blasphemous mortal. I'll make you look good after I get the hammer. Lin Feng and the three of them felt very speechless. This so-called Thor looked like he had just come out of a mental hospital. The original Thor truly grew up after a series of major events occurred after arriving on Earth. And now Thor is just a child over a thousand years old. Dong dong dong. He strode up to the hammer and held it confidently. Ha ha ha. Tremble. Mortal. Worship the god of thunder. Thor also imagined the grand scene after getting Mjolnir and transformed into Thor, with a confident smile on his lips. Huh. What's going on? But soon Thor stopped laughing. The hammer that used to be as light as a feather is now as heavy as a mountain. This time he changed his hands, held the hammer firmly, and roared. Ah. But until his face turned red and the veins on his hands were about to bulge, the hammer remained motionless. No, father, why is this? Thor, unable to lift the hammer, shouted sadly. Thor just naively believed that as long as he got the hammer back and returned to Asgard, he would make the right choice. Little did he know that this was the first lesson Odin taught him, to make him accept the beatings from the outside world. No, the person who beat him is here. Tisk, 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 you are so old, and you are still sitting on the ground and acting like a child. Lin Feng found it very interesting to play tricks on Odin's silly boy. I just can't take the Meowth hammer away. You fool, I'm going to kill you. As soon as he heard the Meow hammer, Thor's back scale seemed to be touched, and he roared and rushed straight towards Lin Feng. Teach you your first lesson. Teach you your first lesson. Lin Feng raised the corners of his mouth slightly and directly caught Thor's fist with his right hand. Thor, who has lost Thor's power, is only as strong as Captain America and Winter Soldier. Who is Lin Feng's opponent? Snapped. Afterwards, Lin Feng threw Thor to the ground with a backhand over his shoulder. With a bang, Thor's body weighing 200 kilograms hit the ground directly, creating a big crater. Ah, Thor, who had never been beaten before, screamed in pain. It hurts so much. Why does it hurt so much? I can't even beat an ordinary earthling now. Then Thor was knocked unconscious. What a poor kid. Lin Feng shook his head and turned to Phil Coulson. Just find a place to put him. He probably won't go crazy tomorrow. He, well, does he have other companions of gods? Phil Coulson is also a little worried that other gods will come to cause trouble. There should be, but I guess another person will look for him first. Who is it? An astrophysicist, as long as you send someone to follow them about what they do. Lin Feng spread his hands. Then stared at Mjolnir with interest. Next, let me try the power of this hammer. Lin Feng was about to go up and hold Mjolnir, but at the moment the system's voice sounded. Ding. Issue a mission. Help Thor Thor metamorphosis, let him regain control of Thor's power, and prevent Bifrost from being destroyed. Mission reward. Space movement. The system's secondary mall is unlocked. 
whether to accept. Yes, it just so happens that the system has released tasks again, which is very good. Although I don't know if the effect of spatial movement is what I imagined, but the product produced by the system must be a high quality product. The rewards are definitely not bad. Lin Feng shook his hands, braced his horse, and prepared to use his greatest strength to lift Mjolnir with brute strength. The man of steel's strength, close to 20%, should be close to 20 million tons. Hela's power to crush Mjolnir at that time was probably no more than 10 million tons. Ha ha. Bang. Just when Lin Feng wanted to use all his strength to lift the hammer on the ground. With a swish, Lin Feng broke the ceiling of the base with a hammer and flew out directly. So light. Lin Feng also thought that he would have to use at least half of his strength to lift the hammer, so he couldn't help but tense up his whole body. Unexpectedly, the hammer seemed to have no gravity in his hand. It was as light as a feather and was carried away. Oh. My god. What the hell is going on? Phil Coulson was stunned again. This Superman is indeed 100 million points stronger. Soon, Lin Feng flew back to the ground and regained his strength. The hammer can be easily lifted using only ordinary strength. Does it mean that Odin's spell doesn't work on me? He was also confused. Lin. Dot you can actually lift the hammer. Natasha Romanoff also said with a shocked look on her face, and then there were little stars in her eyes. This is the man I like. Very strong. He lifted the hammer easily. Well, it's not interesting. After weighing Mjolnir, Lin Feng shook his head. As a weapon for Superman, Mjolnir is not very handy. He was afraid that he would crush the hammer if he applied too much force. Now that old guy Odin will come to Earth to cause trouble for him. This is not what he wants. Better put the hammer back. He shook his head and put the hammer back. By the way, don't tell that stupid guy that I can lift a hammer. Lin Feng blinked at the two of them. You know, he is just a child over a thousand years old. We have to give our children confidence. He smiled evilly. As for shield, there is no need to covet this hammer. Just follow that silly guy, he will surprise you. Asgard, as one of the most powerful eternal kingdoms in the nine realms, should have represented the highest glory of the gods. But he was tortured constantly by Odin's family. The disputes between Odin, Thor, Loki, and Hela, an ordinary kingdom family, eventually led to the destruction of beautiful Asgard. Now is the beginning of this bloody ethics drama. Odin took away Thor's power and banished him to Earth. The euphemistic name is for Thor's growth, but in reality, in Lin Feng's opinion, it is as childish as a rich man deliberately freezing his money and throwing it into a slum for the sake of his stupid son's life. However, according to the time development of the original work, the price paid for the growth of the two sons was too high. Not only was the family gone, but Thor was the only one left in the whole family, and most of the other people were also killed. Although what bullshit is Ragnarok, Destiny's Choice and stuff like that. But Lin Feng was not convinced. Now that he has traveled through time and has Superman's ability, why can't he change everything? The main purpose now is to train Odin's two idiots first, and then go to Odin to see his attitude. Lin Feng walked out of the camp slowly and looked at the blue sky. He decided to stay here tonight. Late at night, Lin Feng sat alone on the hillside and watched the stars. I have to say that the environment in the wild is much better and the stars become extremely bright. Just when Lin Feng was thinking about how to help Thor, a gentle female voice came from behind him. So you are here. Why are you so interested in watching the stars today? Natasha Romanoff also walked over, holding a bottle of whiskey and two wine glasses. The stars are beautiful, but they are not one ten thousandth as beautiful as you. Lin Feng looked back with a smile. He is becoming more and more skilled in love talk now. Yeah, let me buy you a drink. Natasha Romanoff sat next to Lin Feng with a smile, opened the whiskey, poured two glasses of wine, and handed one to Lin Feng. What can I say? Beautiful night view. Cheers. Ding. The two held the cups and touched them lightly. Beautiful scenery, beautiful people, beautiful scenery, I have to say, the atmosphere at the moment is also romantic enough. The two of them enjoyed all this quietly. By the way, the big man woke up and didn't run away or go crazy. He just stayed there stupidly. Is it really okay to leave him alone? Is the legendary Thor really like that? Natasha Romanoff asked curiously. Gods also have seven emotions and six desires. 
What's more, the gods they call themselves are just a race. Except for being more powerful and knowing a little magic, they are no different from humans. Lin Feng explained with a smile. Natasha Romanoff rolled her eyes at him charmingly. What about you? Mighty Mr. Superman, are you also a god from somewhere? I'm a real earthling, I'm just awakening the power of the sun. Lin Feng said confidently. In a way, he wasn't lying either. Are you curious about the source of my power? Oh, if I ask, will you tell me? Black Widow picked up the wine glass again and took a sip. Then let's see who you are asking me about. Are you the super agent Black Widow of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Or my friend Natasha Romanoff? Lin Feng asked rhetorically. Natasha Romanoff brushed the wind-blown hair in her head and said calmly. As long as I can remember, I have been locked in a red house with a group of little girls. We were forced to learn various combat methods such as fighting, assassination, assassination, etc., and received an extremely cruel education. In the end, we could only survive by killing each other. So from that time on, I didn't trust the people around me. I could tell which people had evil intentions towards me and which people were hiding their intentions behind their smiles. When I first met you, I found that although your eyes were sometimes nasty, they were not malicious. I don't know when it started. I think you are a trustworthy person. So, I don't know in what capacity I am asking you, or maybe I am just out of curiosity. I don't want to mention the experiences I've had before, so I won't ask you about the secrets in your heart. With that said, Natasha Romanoff slowly moved closer to Lin Feng and put her head on Lin Feng's shoulder. Black Widow was very confused before. She used to be a KGB agent, doing dirty work in the dark, until she met Hawkeye. She has a companion, but Lin Feng gave her a very special feeling. In addition to being a friend or companion, he is more of a man who can be relied on. His strength, gentleness and thoughtfulness make Natasha Romanoff, who has been in darkness for a long time, feel happy and warm. She was obsessed with spending time with Lin Feng. But unfortunately, he was very dissatisfied with his boss, and he seemed to be a little dissatisfied with her recently. So she surrendered in her own unique way. There will be me in the future. Lin Feng's gentle words were filled with unquestionable firmness. I will become stronger and stronger and be able to protect the world and the people around me. He made a promise to Natasha Romanoff and also to himself. I can protect you and give you a reliable home. But you know, I am Superman. For such a charming man, there will definitely be other beauties who fall in love with me. You can't refuse, right? It sounded good at first, but after a while Lin Feng started to talk nonsense. If ordinary girls heard this, they would definitely give Lin Feng a big slap in the face and call him a scumbag. But Natasha Romanoff doesn't care. She knew the condition of her body, and as long as she could accompany him quietly and spend warm time as she did now, it would be enough. She also looked at Lin Feng's handsome profile with a gentle look on her face, listening to his conversation, while the corners of her mouth slightly raised. By the way, this is for you. Lin Feng was bragging until his saliva was almost dry, and then he thought of giving Natasha Romanoff a fake venom battle suit. What a soft material, what is this? Natasha Romanoff touched the battle suit and felt that it was very smooth and delicate, and its toughness was also very high. This is a battle suit I obtained from a certain source. It can withstand three fatal explosions from you. Consider it a gift from me. You must only use it yourself, and you cannot give it to black braised eggs. Lin Feng also gave a special reminder. Well, thank you for the gift. And Natasha Romanoff's heart was stirred again, and she thanked with a smile. Mwah. She couldn't help but give Lin Feng a sweet kiss. The two sat quietly all night. Although there was no further physical sublimation, the spirit was getting closer. The next day, a bad old man approached Lin Feng. Hem, what's the matter with you? Lin Feng asked doubtfully. It's like this. I have a friend who may not be in good spirits. He accidentally broke into the camp last night and was probably captured by you. But he means no harm and it would be great if you could let him go. He seems to call himself the god of thunder. Oh. Don't worry, the big guy is sleeping comfortably in the tent. It was obvious that this man was here to see Thor. After taking a closer look at the old man in front of him, Lin Feng recalled it. Isn't this the astrophysicist, Dr. Eric Shavig? This is also a relatively important role. 
In Avengers 1, he was controlled by Loki with a mind scepter, studied the Tesseract's ability, and used the super energy in the Stark building to control the Tesseract to open the space portal, allowing the Chidori army to invade New York. The reason why he came to Thor this time was also due to Jane Foster's request. For the sake of his late friend's daughter, he also had to deal with this mysterious organization. The one in front of you, yes, is you. He called to a guard. Go and inform Phil Coulson that that stupid big friend came to ask for someone last night. He will understand. Yes. Although Lin Feng behaved very casually, no one dared to look down upon him. This is Superman. It was a great honor just to work with him. And the bad old man in front of me didn't know if he was too obsessed with astronomy and physics. He didn't read much newspapers. Even Superman didn't know. The old man was also waiting nervously. Not long after, Phil Coulson came out with the guards and Thor. And this stupid guy didn't know whether it was because he couldn't hold the hammer or because he was knocked unconscious by Lin Feng yesterday. He followed them out as if he had lost his soul. Thor, are you okay? Jane asked me to take you back. When he heard Jane's name, Thor's eyes regained a little color. Dr. Shivig, where is Jane? She's waiting for you outside. Come with me. Thor also regained his energy. Jane seemed to be the only one in his heart, even ignoring Lin Feng next to him. Lin Feng also felt that it was not appropriate to deal with Thor now, so he left quietly first. When Shivig and Thor left this temporary base, Phil Coulson gave a gesture to the agent next to him, asking him to follow quietly. According to the plot of the original book, Thor and Shivig were in touch with each other on this day, and then the two drunkards had a drinking party in the evening, and finally Shivig collapsed due to lack of alcohol. Thor sent Shivig back to Jane's temporary residence, and then his relationship with Jane quickly developed and so on. The next day, Thor's good friends came to Earth from Asgard and fought against the destroyer controlled by Loki. It was then that Thor, who had metamorphosis, had the power of Thor again. Later, in order to find Loki, Thor returned to Asgard again, and after a brotherly battle, he accidentally destroyed the Bifrost. The passage to the Earth will also be temporarily closed. But it's different now. Lin Feng has a mission now. Even if he left it alone, Thor would eventually turn back into Thor, but it would not be okay if Bifrost was destroyed. If you fail the mission, your reward will be wasted. The necessary condition to complete the mission is that you must follow Thor back to Asgard. So when is the best time to show up? That was definitely when Thor had just met their best friend. Save them by the way, sell them a favor, and gain your own favor. By doing this, Thor should also know that he has no malicious intentions. After Lin Feng made the plan, he continued to do his own business. Although I don't know exactly when Sif and the others will come, it's good to have some awareness. So Lin Feng continued to enjoy two dates with Natasha Romanoff. What? Are you saying we are not doing our jobs properly? Who are you kidding me? It's important to help Shield's female agent to clear up her inner emotions and pay attention to the mental health of her companions. And soon, the relationship between Lin Feng and Natasha Romanoff also heated up rapidly. On the other hand, Thor and Jane's relationship is even worse. It was noon the next day. Lin Feng estimated the time and found the family restaurant where Thor and Jane had dinner. I don't know how Jane comforted Thor. Anyway, Thor, who had been a dead fish before, became very energetic and had a smile on his face. Well, enjoy your time now. Lin Feng felt regretful when he thought of Thor in the original timeline. My family members are all dead, and my hometown is gone and turned into a fat house. But thank me now, I am going to help you change this miserable future. Thinking of this, Lin Feng felt that his justice value had increased significantly, and his mood became much better. So he put on the most confident smile on his lips and sat in front of them. Um, as soon as Thor, who was smiling before, saw Lin Feng, his expression changed, and he immediately stood up and protected Jane Foster behind his back. You rude guy. You insulted my hammer before and knocked me unconscious. What are you doing here now? I admit that I am no match for you now, but if you have the ability to come at me, don't even think about hurting my friends. Quote. And Thor yelled at Lin Feng loudly. He looked like a brave and fearless person who was righteous and generous. Do you think he is stupid? He is shrewd. 
Thor actually knew that it was Lin Feng who let him go, but he refused to admit it, and he didn't feel any malice from him, so why not pretend to show Jane such a good opportunity? And sure enough, the daughter in love has a negative IQ. Jane looked at Thor's back with admiration, her eyes almost filled with caution. In her opinion, the people in that bureau were very despicable. They just let Thor go, and then they found someone to take away their research materials, and now they are threatening him. On the other hand, Thor must have suffered a lot inside, and the flesh on his face has lost a lot. But now he is not afraid of power and protects himself from harm. He is simply a good man. Full of security. And Jane Foster is also a bold woman. She also protected Thor behind her, speaking nervously but firmly. That's enough, you despicable guys. Do you want to take my friend away again? Lin Feng felt very speechless. Why did he become a villain unintentionally? Are you so expressive? Calm down, I won't take anything from you, nor will I take any of you away. Calm down, I won't take anything from you, nor will I take any of you away. Lin Feng comforted. Besides, I hate the Mediterranean too. Mediterranean. Jane frowned, as if recalling something. PFF. Ha ha ha. That guy's head does look like the Mediterranean Sea. Then she recalled bald Phil Coulson and burst into laughter. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? When Thor saw his girlfriend being amused by another man, he asked jealously. I'm Lin Feng, and I'm here to discuss the hammer with you. HMPH. That hammer belongs to me. You bandits. As soon as he heard about the hammer, Thor almost exploded again, as distressed as a child who lost his favorite toy. I didn't say it wasn't yours. Lin Feng spread his hands. You were just too excited yesterday. I apologize to you. HMPH. Don't think you are good at fighting. I just lost my strength temporarily. When I get my strength back, I can fight 10 weaklings like you. Thor still felt unconvinced and wanted to maintain his tall, mighty and invincible image in front of Jane. Wait until you get back the true power that belongs to Thor. Lin Feng also found it funny. Even Thor, who broke out in the later stages of Avengers Alliance 3, is probably no match for him. The other party is really a child over a thousand years old, and he is very tough talking. HMPH. You don't understand anything. You're just ordinary mortals. Thor continued to act like a god. So this is why you were banished to Earth by your father Odin. Thor, you are too arrogant, accomplished nothing after losing your hammer, and have no respect for the people of Earth. Wait a minute, are you, serious? Do you also believe that he is Thor from Asgard? Jane suddenly interrupted Lin Feng's words. Although she believed Thor, she was still dubious. Huh, wait, how do you know about my father banishing me to Earth? On the other side, Thor's reaction was even greater. He had only told everyone that he was Thor from Asgard and was here to find the hammer. He did not tell the truth about being exiled by Odin at all. Because it's so embarrassing. Hee <laughs> hee. Lin Feng was secretly happy when he saw that they had taken the bait. I definitely know more than you think, and I know how to get you to hold the hammer again and give you the power of thunder again. I am definitely not an ordinary person. I have a new title here, called Superman. What? You're Superman? And Jane Foster was shocked. Although she is also an astrophysicist, she at least knows more about the outside world than Professor Chevig. At least the name Superman should be very famous throughout the United States. It's just that she's a little face blind and can't tell what yellow people look like. Now, she quickly took out her phone from her bag and searched for pictures of Superman. The first picture is a photo of Lin Feng and Iron Man. After careful comparison, she realized that the person in front of her was really Superman. Superman. What is Superman? What about Superman? The stupid guy was still confused. That means I know something that a lot of people don't know. Lin Feng pretended to be mysterious again. For example, I know that you have another naughty brother, Loki. You two have not had a good relationship since childhood, and... Lin Feng revealed some information about Thor and his family that he saw in his previous life. I'll go. How do you know us so well? Thor's eyes widened as well, with a look of shock on his face. This is really incredible. There are some things that only he and Loki know, and this was revealed by Lin Feng. This is just one of my abilities, don't be surprised. 
I also know that Loki found you the night before yesterday and said that Odin was dead. Um, but he lied to you. How could Odin die so easily if he was so powerful? He was just asleep. Loki's purpose is to keep you on earth, and you know that there will always be only one king of Asgard. Is this real? And hearing the news, Thor was shocked. You must know that the blows he received before were not all due to his inability to lift Mjolnir, but his recklessness and arrogance that killed his father. I had no need to lie to you, Thor. Lin Feng said slowly. This is your own experience. Heimdall will not pay attention to you. You must learn how to get along with others on earth and learn to be an ordinary person, so that you can gain the power you deserve. And Thor also began to think with his muscular head, silent. How about we make a deal? Lin Feng continued to ask. What deal? What deal? At the moment, Thor had returned to normal, and he believed 70% of Lin Feng's words. He hopes that what Lin Feng said is true, then his father is really not dead. By the way, your friends will also come to Earth, but they shouldn't be able to stop subsequent attacks from powerful enemies. I can help you save their lives, but then I have to go back to Asgard with you to meet Odin. Lin Feng put forward his own conditions. Friends. And where are the enemies? Three warriors, and Sif, do you understand this? Lin Feng reaches the end. This. Now Lin Feng once again said shocking news, which made Thor believe Lin Feng's words a little more. If what you say is true, then I agree to your terms. After thinking for a moment, Thor nodded and agreed to Lin Feng's deal. His IQ is now online. Since you know your own interpersonal relationships, you probably also know their combat effectiveness. Although the three warriors and Sif are not as powerful as they were in their heyday, they are still very powerful. How strong is the enemy that even they can't defeat? Since the man in front of me who calls himself Superman knows so many things and speaks so confidently, there should be a solution. What's more, it's just taking him back to Asgard. If his father is really not dead, it will be enough to prove his strength. Humans with the ability to prophesy are rare even in Asgard. Very good. Now your IQ has returned to a high level. I'm very happy. Lin Feng also smiled and nodded. What high ground? Thor was confused for a moment, but Jane Foster doubled over with laughter. See you later then. After Lin Feng finished speaking, he stood up and left without looking back. What a strange person. Ba bang bang. Not long after Lin Feng left, there was a loud knock on the door of the family restaurant. Um. Dr. Shavig turned to look and was stunned for a moment, and accidentally dropped the cup in his hand to the ground. There were four people, three men and one woman, all dressed in strange clothes and holding metal weapons, just like the soldiers in the Middle Ages. Obviously, the four people who don't fit in with the others are Thor's friends. Hey, found you. The four people outside the door also smiled happily when they saw Thor. Is this true? My friends, you are actually here. Thor was as happy as a 200-pound fat man and gave them a warm hug. That's great. He laughed heartily. Ahem, let me introduce to you, these are my friends, Ms. Sif and the three warriors. Thor turned and introduced Drive Shavig and Jane Foster. Um, hello. Jane greeted them politely. She was only now shocked by what Lin Feng said just now. Wasn't this exactly predicted by Lin Feng? Superman's ability is so incredible. And Thor has only now realized that what Lin Feng said just now is completely true. If what Lin Feng said is true, then the enemies that will appear later will be unprecedentedly powerful. He looked at his friends with a worried look on his face. I'm glad you guys came to see me. But you shouldn't have come. There will be powerful enemies here, and I won't be able to stop them without Thor's power. Thor advised them to leave Earth. But we're here to take you home. One of the warriors said sincerely. No, actually I already know my father's intention. Thor said sincerely. That boy is right. I used to be too arrogant, insisted on going my own way, and hurt many people around me. Therefore, my father was very disappointed in me and banished me to the earth. I need to practice here until I am qualified to control the power of Thor. But, the situation in Asgard is very urgent. Sif said seriously. Loki has taken control of the throne, and secretly opened the passage to Asgard and teleported the Jotun giant there. What? And Thor was even more shocked. Call. And at the moment, a hurricane suddenly blew up in the desert in the distance, rolling up a huge sandstorm. Boom. 
A heavy metal collision sounded. A five-meter-tall metal giant appeared in the center of the sandstorm and slammed to the ground. The closest to the metal giants are SHIELD's agents. Is this Stark's robot? The bald agent asked Phil Coulson. I don't know, he never told me this. Phil Coulson stepped out of the car wearing sunglasses. Then he picked up a large speaker and cleared his throat. Hello, you are using unregistered weapon technology, please identify yourself. Bang. After hearing Phil Coulson's words, the metal giant suddenly stopped. It should be fine, he said to the bald agent next to him. Crack. At the moment, the metal giant slowly opened the mask on his face. There was a blazing flame inside. No. Run. Everyone felt something was wrong and ran away quickly. Boom. The next moment, a high-temperature ray was sprayed from the head of the metal giant, instantly blasting a car into rubble. Ah. Screams spread everywhere, and the shield facilities outside at the moment were in a mess, with explosions and charred ruins everywhere. Jane, leave quickly. Only when Thor saw this metal giant did he know what the powerful enemy Lin Fung was talking about before. This is the destroyer. Possessing terrifying regeneration abilities and powerful strength, coupled with terrifying high temperature rays, it has become an almost immortal existence. How about you? Jane looked at Thor worriedly. I want to stay here. Thor said firmly, already knowing his mission in his heart. Thor wants to fight alongside us. The three warriors said excitedly. My friend. And Thor patted one of them on the shoulder. Now that I have lost Thor's power, I will only be a hindrance here. But we can help ordinary people move to safety. If you stay, I'll stay too. Jane also decided to go with Thor. Um. Thor knew that now was not the time for hesitation, so he pulled Jane and the doctor and evacuated quickly. My friends, give me a certain amount of time, I want to take them out of here first. Thor continued to speak to Sif and the others. Also, that Lin Fung. Remember our conditions, we must protect them. As for the last sentence, he shouted loudly, for fear that Lin Fung wouldn't hear. Everyone, get out of here quickly. It's dangerous here. Everyone, run quickly. And Thor, Jane, and Shavig ran all the way to help people escape. Boom, boom, boom. The destroyer, on the other hand, stepped on heavy steps, approaching Sif and the others while opening his metal mask, spraying high temperature flames everywhere. Everywhere he passed was a mess, almost a sea of fire. HMPH. Just this thing, do you still need help from people here? You are simply looking down on us. One of the warriors put the axe on his shoulder and said disdainfully. Be careful and move separately. Distract their attention. Sif, on the other hand, was more cautious and issued the order. Um. Everyone looked at each other, nodded, and then hid in every corner to observe the destroyer's movements. Boom. The destroyer is a tireless war machine. When it passes a place, it will inevitably open its metal mask and emit high temperature flame rays. Bang. A nearby gas station was completely blown up, and a terrifying wave of air swept the entire place. Good chance. And just when the destroyer fired the first ray and was still filling the cooldown period of the second ray, one of the warriors seized the opportunity. For Asgard, he stamped his foot on the ground and flew straight towards the destroyer, holding a big axe in his hand and slashing at the destroyer menacingly. Bang! A heavy blow sounded. It wasn't his axe that hit the opponent. Instead, the destroyer waved his hand and knocked the warrior away first. How fast he flew towards the destroyer before, now how fast he flies back. PFF. Lin Feng saw this scene hiding in the dark and almost couldn't help laughing. Are all people in Asgard that brave? Just go on like this. Shouted a slogan before the fight. Well, he is indeed handsome. It's a pity that he is only handsome for three seconds. Not good. And at the moment, the destroyer's second blow has been filled and is about to shoot at the person who just fell to the ground. Whoosh. And at the moment, a pebble from nowhere suddenly hit the destroyer's F head. And at the moment, a pebble from nowhere suddenly hit the destroyer's head. Boom. Only a crisp collision sound was heard. The destroyer's head fell quickly to the side as if it had been hit by a tank. And the flames shot out of its mouth completely deflected from the fallen warrior. Huh. What happened just now? Jane and other people watching the battle from a distance were shocked and almost thought that one of their companions had died. 
But seeing that the destroyer seemed to have been hit by an invisible man in that blow just now, he became shocked and surprised. That is, although Thor has now lost Thor's power, his fighting instincts are still there. He vaguely felt that someone should be helping them secretly. Drink. At the moment, Sif took advantage of the destroyer's staggering moment, jumped down from a height of more than three stories, and stabbed the long sword in his hand into the destroyer's neck. Stamp. The sharp sword directly pierced the destroyer. The destroyer was also nailed to the ground and temporarily suspended his actions. Call. The other three warriors thought that Sif had completely killed the destroyer, and they all let out a long sigh. And Sif also stood behind the destroyer and smiled proudly. Click. Click. In the next second, the destroyer moved strangely. It was originally nailed to the ground by Sif's sword in a prone position. But now it twists its head behind its back, its arms and thighs each twist 180 degrees, its front chest turns into its back, and the entire metal man changes direction instantly. The purpose of this weird shapeshifting of the destroyer is to get up and pull out Sif's sword, and at the same time completely burn the Sif that was originally on his back and now on his chest. Buzz. And the flames in the destroyer's mouth gathered again and were opening wide towards Sif's face. Not good. Danger. Leave quickly. The companion next to him shouted in shock. Clatter. Sif's heart trembled, and he immediately jumped off the destroyer. Boom. The next second, the destroyer's flames shot out. Retreat quickly. Sif also ran away nervously and quickly, and reminded everyone to leave here quickly. Buzz. The destroyer entered the endless filling mode. After a fire blast was fired, flames condensed on the chest, preparing for the next shot. Whoosh. At the moment, the destroyer's second flame ray has been filled and is heading straight towards Sif, who is running backwards. No. Sif. And Thor yelled in horror. Boom. And at the moment Sif also felt the terrifying high temperature and fatal danger behind him. She made a prompt decision and stepped hard on the ground again and her body immediately flew to the right, changing the direction of movement. In her opinion, a temporary change of direction should be able to avoid this blow. Boom. Swish. Sure enough, the destroyer's flame ray hit the position just before Sif changed direction. But before she could breathe a sigh of relief, the ray continued unabated and swept to her position. Just when she was desperate, a handsome figure suddenly appeared in front of her, hugged her in a princess hug, and then left quickly. Bang! The next moment, the flames of the destroyer swept across, causing another explosion. Sif was saved by a handsome man. Hey beautiful lady, are you okay? Lin Feng asked softly. Um, I'm fine, thank you. Sif looked at the sunny and handsome man in front of him, and his cheeks couldn't help but turn red. As a female warrior of Asgard, she has been on the battlefield for a long time and has met countless heroes. But she felt that no one was as handsome as the man in front of her. He possesses thoughtfulness, carefulness and gentleness that Asgardians do not have. Are all people on earth today so handsome? If only he were stronger. No, I already have four. While Sif was thinking wildly, Lin Feng gently put Sif down. Ahem, leave that scrap to Thor. I'm only responsible for protecting you. Huh, scrap metal. That is a terrible destroyer. Dot not good. And at the moment, the destroyer emitted high temperature rays one after another. Whoosh. But before Sif could make a sound to remind her, Lin Feng beside her disappeared with a whoosh, and a hurricane rolled up at such a speed. Whoosh. 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 At the moment Lin Feng also wandered around the battlefield one after another. From the perspective of others, they only saw a whirlwind floating on the battlefield. Lin Feng instantly saved everyone within the range of the destroyer and the destroyer's attack couldn't even scratch Lin Feng's side. Except Thor. He felt like he was now the Flash. Oh, by the way, this is Marvel, it should be Quicksilver. Under the protection of super speed in the life force field, all the three warriors, Jane, Shavig and other friends were taken away. Definitely, the lady should use the princess hug to rescue her gently. The most men can do is grab their waistbands and run away. Anyway, they are protected by the life force field, so nothing will happen to them. Crack, crack, crack. In less than five seconds, everyone except Thor had evacuated a hundred meters away from the destroyer. Huh, what am I? In the end what happened? I seem to feel a very warm feeling just now. Should I wipe it? Why is my waistband loose? 
The people who were rescued were more or less confused, confused, secretly happy and sighing. The only person closest to the destroyer is Thor. He was actually confused at first, but then felt very shocked. Because he vaguely saw a person carrying or hugging his friends and leaving quickly. Is this really a human being? This speed is too fast. If it weren't for his friends standing safely behind, he would have suspected that his eyes were wrong. The next step is up to you. But at some point, Lin Feng suddenly appeared next to him, patted him on the shoulder as a sign of encouragement, and then disappeared. It's Lin Feng. Hearing this familiar voice, Thor understood what had just happened. It was Lin Feng who saved his friends. He really did it. Fulfilled the agreement with myself. Thor breathed a sigh of relief, then looked firmly at the destroyer. In this case, I must not let down the honor of Prince Asgard, and must complete the agreement. Take Lin Feng to Asgard. So first of all, you must use your own strength to face the destroyer in front of you alone, er, Loki. Boom, boom, boom. The destroyer in the distance seemed to have also seen Thor, and no longer fired fire rays, but approached Thor step by step with heavy steps. And Thor also walked towards the destroyer calmly with a determined expression. No, wait, what is he doing? When Jane saw Thor like this, she immediately panicked and wanted to step forward to stop him. But at the moment the other companions stopped her. Leave the rest to Thor, he will take care of it all. And at some point, Lin Feng was already standing beside them, comforting them. That's right, you're Superman, right, you just saved us. And Jane suddenly remembered that Lin Feng next to her was Superman. Can you save Thor? Please, you can definitely do it with your strength. Jane was like a drowning man grabbing a straw and clinging to it. She now finally understands how powerful Lin Feng was just now. Easily save a dozen people from that terrible destroyer in the blink of an eye. Jane, trust Thor. Next you will see the birth of the real Thor. Lin Feng nodded, and then focused his attention on Thor in the distance. And Jane also set her sights on Thor, with a worried look on her face. Since Lin Feng, an outsider, believes in Thor so much, what reason does he have to not believe it? Thor and the Destroyer draw closer. Brother, no matter how I wronged you. It doesn't matter what I did to make you like this. Thor said sincerely. I am really sorry. But those people are innocent. Killing them won't do you any good. If you want the throne of Asgard, then it will be given to you. I hope you can bring Asgard to prosperity. And now if it can calm your anger, then kill me. And that's the end of it. Thor said calmly. Crack. As for the destroyer, Thor was less than three meters away at the moment. At the moment, its metal mask opened again, brewing the next terrifying heat ray. Thor is betting. Bet Loki wouldn't actually kill him. Gala. Gala. At the moment, the destroyer's mask shape shifted again, and the metal mask closed again. Um. The corners of Thor's mouth raised slightly. He was right in betting that his brother really couldn't. Bang. But the next moment, the destroyer punched Thor away. No. Jane, on the other hand, screamed and rushed to the place where Thor fell to the ground desperately. There was a hideous wound on Thor's face, and Jane's heart ached when she saw how angry he was. Tears filled her eyes, as if they would burst out in the next second. Jane, it's over. Thor looked at Jane who was worried about him and smiled happily. You are all safe. Yes, we are safe, but you. Jane choked up and said. Thor closed his eyes in contentment. This is his solution. After letting Loki get his revenge, he should no longer kill innocent people on Earth. And Lin Feng can also fly back to Asgard with Sif and the three warriors. Everything is so beautiful. And Loki also controlled the destroyer and turned away. Everyone was in a state of shock and sadness. Buzz. And at the moment there was a noise in the distance. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.